You can now build apps with AI completely for free. I know this sounds too good to be true, but I promise it is not. I get countless comments saying that AI app builders are expensive and that you can't afford it. Well, this new platform makes it completely free for anyone to use. And if you don't believe me, these apps were all made with this platform. This app that lets you upload an image of yourself and try on any clothes. Another one that allows you to put in any address and create a watercolor painting of any house. And this app where you can upload a photo of a room and drag any product you want into it. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use it and why this might be the easiest way to start vibe coding right now. This is going to be a fun one. All right, so I'm going to quickly show you these three platforms that were built entirely with this free AI vibe coding tool to show you just how powerful this platform really is. So first of all, we have this platform right here where it allows you to upload an image of yourself and basically become like a model and style for different clothes that you are wearing. So let me go ahead and upload a photo. So here is this photo of me and you can see it's actually generating an image with me using Gemini Nano Banana. And just like that, in seconds, we could see a before and an after, and we have me posing in a different pose, but I'm wearing the exact same thing. Then what I could do is I could actually click on proceed to styling, and I could actually upload different articles of clothing here and have myself try them on and even generate different poses. So let me do that now. So I just uploaded this image of this sweatshirt here, and now it's instantly going to actually go ahead and generate me wearing that. Just like that, we have this image of myself, and then let's go ahead and actually create a different version of this. So what I could do is I could actually click down here and choose different angles of myself to actually create different poses. So let me just say leaning against a wall and it's going to take that same exact image of me wearing the same outfit leaning up against a wall. There we go. That's me leaning up against the wall. And again, this app was built completely free. You don't have to pay for this vibe coding platform. All right. So this next app is called Home Canvas. You could upload any product and upload an image of a room and you could automatically just drag the image and have that product placed in that image. Boom. And just like that, seconds later, we have this image generated and I'm going to show you one more use case. And then let me show you how to use this platform. All right. In this app, I could actually just type in an address. Let me just say Mile High Stadium, which is a Denver Broncos stadium. It pulls up this Google map here. I could then take this and then it will actually create a watercolor painting with this exact address. Just like that, seconds later, we now have this watercolor generated image. And now I'm gonna show you exactly how you could create apps for free with this platform. All right, so here is the platform that we're actually using in this video. It is called Google AI Studio, and it is this build feature inside of the AI Studio. You're gonna to come to this link here. So this is basically Google's AI suite of their generative AI platforms. And you could come in here, you could come to build apps with Gemini. And right here is where you could actually begin vibe coding and again, this is free. However, the only thing you need to pay for is the API usage, which makes sense because running these AI tools off the back end of your apps aren't free, but you do not need to pay in order to actually vibe code and build an app. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come here and type in a prompt as we would with Bolt, Lovable, any of these other platforms. And I'm basically saying, build me an app that allows the users to upload an image of themselves and try on clothes with AI. And basically I'm just gonna run that prompt. It's gonna think through how to do this. It's gonna be good vibe coding as we know. And here we go. You could see we have our interface on the left-hand side where we could chat back and forth with our AI. We have our agent on the right-hand side actually writing our code. And then we could view the preview here as well and view our app full screen once this is actually done doing its job. All right, so in one prompt, our app got this perfect. It's actually working very well. So you can see I uploaded an image of myself. I described my outfit. I said LeBron Lakers jersey. And if I zoom in here, you can see the AI makeover shows that exact same Im image of me, but with the LeBron James Lakers jersey. That's pretty funny. And one thing I want to mention about this platform real quickly is that it integrates directly with all of Gemini's AI features. So right here, I didn't actually have to go ahead and integrate the Gemini Nano Banana image generation tool which is actually how it's able to generate these images. Usually I'd have to go and add an API and all of these different things on the back end of our app. But since this is built into Gemini and Google's AI ecosystem, it's able to do all of this automatically. So there we go. What I'm gonna do is let's go ahead, let's try to recreate this interface here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screenshot this. I'm gonna bring this back over to our Google AI Studio, add this as a screenshot and say, let's recreate this interface. I'm gonna send that prompt off. I'm curious to see what it will actually spin up, but we'll go from there. The reason that I wanted to make this video is because so many people actually comment on my videos about vibe coding and say, hey Brock, these platforms are expensive. How could I actually begin doing this for free? And this is a great way for you to go around and 
play around with different AI apps that you could actually build and be able to build these skills and build pretty useful apps for yourself while kind of building the skills on how to actually code with AI. You're not gonna run into any issues where you get like five free credits, for example, and then midway through your app, it's gonna say you need to upgrade to a 20 or $50 per month plan. This is completely free to use. Again, you just have to pay for any of the API usage you use on the back end of your app. So for example, I got charged for generating this image on the back end of my app, but it probably costed maybe a couple cents or something instead of it being like $20 a month to actually use the platform, if that makes sense. All right, so here we go. This now looks more like the example image of that other app user interface that we wanted to replicate. So what I could do now is I could just come, let me just go ahead and upload an image. And basically I could just describe what I want. Let's just say again, a LeBron jersey. I'm gonna click generate makeover, showing the new you. Drag the slider to see your transformation. Right now there is no transformation yet, but we can drag this. User interface looks really slick and boom, just like that. You have me actually wearing this LeBron James jersey. You can see the before and after. That all looks super solid, guys. This platform is super, Super, super easy for you to begin building apps. You have no coding skills. And again, this is completely free to actually use. All right, so let's try to take this one step further. Now that we're actually generating this image using Gemini's image generation, let's actually try to generate a video or not only do we have an image in this outfit, but we could also generate a video too. So here's the prompt. Let's take this app one step further and let the user generate a video of the image that they can generate. Keep the UI the same here, but now add a button that says AI video and let the user add a simple prompt. So we'll be able to add a prompt to basically make the video whatever we want it to be. So let's send that prompt off. So far, I've been pretty impressed with how good this platform actually is at vibe coding and integrating the different APIs with all of the Google and Gemini AI products that they have. After I build in this feature, I'm gonna show you exactly how you could publish this to the internet so you could actually access this via a URL and share it with your friends, for example. All right, so now after you actually generate the image, you could see you could just write in a simple prompt here. I click generate video and it actually generated a video in about 30 seconds. Here it is, it's nothing crazy. It doesn't look absolutely insane. Basically, it's just me smiling and holding a basketball. Character consistency is there because it's using the VO3 video generation model. Guys, this is just a very fun app that we actually built inside of the Google AI Studio. So hopefully this gives you a sense of how you can start building these apps for free. So now I'm gonna show you exactly how you could publish this to the web so you could then send this to a friend, for example. All you need to do, just like any other vibe coding platform, is come up here, click on deploy. And all you need to do is you need to create a project inside of your Google Cloud. So you'll come over here and just name this. Let's call this AI app create project, and then you could just click on deploy app and it's gonna begin deploying this to a specific URL. All right, and now we have our URL. So if I click on this, it will take us directly to our app and we could begin using it right here, just like I showed in this video. So there you have it, guys. I hope you got some value from this video. Let me know what you're gonna build in the comments below. Subscribe for more videos like this. I cover AI for non-techie. So if you're non-techie trying to navigate this world, this YouTube channel is the perfect place for that. With that being said, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.